What's going on guys, it's Hink, and uh, I'm bringing you an Adobe After Effects tutorial today. What we're going to be looking at is displacement waves, and uh, it's not just going to be regular circular waves. Um, it's basically going to be like an outline of your gun, and then it's going to basically deform and unfold into a circle after this. It's kind of confusing. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. I did this in Vicarious. I know 90% of my tutorials have to do with vicarious just because I did a bunch of shit in this. It was really subtle, which is kind of why I liked it. Anyways, this is what I'm talking about. Not that. That. Yeah. See all them waves and shit? I also did it, um, was it the very last clip? No, it wasn't. It was, wait, where is it? Hold on. It's, uh, I know. There it is. All right, I did it right here on the ACR clip. Play that bitch. Play that bitch. Really? Really, YouTube? You're gonna be a dick? Yeah, see what I'm talking about with the waves and shit? All right, so that's what we're gonna be learning. So get the fuck out of here. Open up. New composition, drag your shit in. Let's scale this up, get rid of those black bars, because for whatever reason, Battlefield likes to give you tiny little black bars. Anyways, so let's go ahead and find out what spot we want to do this on. I will do it right after he shoots, so... Actually, pull the bolt, and I'll do it right around here. So let's go ahead and add Twixer. And shabam. And let's go ahead and go something like that. See what that looks like. Looks very buttful. Hold on. If you don't know the definition of buttful, it means to be filled with butt. Um. And there's not much I can really do to fuck with it because 29.97 is not a frame rate that should exist. It's just simply not. Maybe that. Alright, let's go one frame back. Uh oh. Uh oh, Skedio. All right, let's go. That's good enough. All right. So that was pointless. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is uh, now that we got everything marked where we want it and all that jazz, so we're gonna make a new um, solid. That's what we're making, a solid. All right, and we're going to hide this layer. Make sure it is selected though, and grab your pen tool and we're just going to draw a very simple line around the gun or whatever object we want the waves to be coming out of and yeah very simple very simple um, let's go ahead and bring it down here you'll see why in a minute bring those out and that out alright so BAM this is what it looks like BAM we're gonna hit M and we're gonna go and turn this back off. And we're gonna keyframe the mask path. And let's go forward about two seconds. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to right click this, go to mask, go to mask shape, and we're gonna hit reset to ellipse. And we're going to scale this up in the middle and up, put it back in the middle. Now you can kind of see what's going on. Kind of crazy shit. Yeah. Wow. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to keyframe in the middle because I don't like the way these over here are coming out this way. So let's go ahead and we got to turn this on to be able to do this. And oops. Uh oh, and damn it! All I want to do is highlight these. There we go. 
and bring them, fuck you, back down this way a bit. And I can come in, oops, and just adjust some of these and some of those. And that looks about good to me. So yeah, we're done. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to make a white blob that starts in kind of the shape of your gun and then just overrides your screen and it looks really ugly. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a comment, tell me what you want. I'm just kidding. Sorry. It was a horrible joke. What we're going to do now, for real though, is we're going to duplicate this mask, drop this down, change this to subtract, and bring the mask expansion in. And let's go ahead and bring the mask expansion out on this one and thicken it up a little more outside. All right, and now we get to pre-compose. Yeah. After you pre-compose, make sure you move all attributes. Uh, type in fast blur and drop fast blur over this white blob shit. Uh, repeat horizontal or repeat edge pixels, whatever, horizontal and vertical, and go ahead and blur the ever-living shard out of it. Uh, around 40 something should work. Looks pretty decent to me. And you can go ahead and trim that just so there's nothing before it just kind of comes out like that. And let's go ahead and open this back up. Hit M. And let's go ahead and bring this mask expansion on this one. We're going to leave it at negative 22 right there. But by the time it gets all the way out, we're going to bring it out even more. So it's just, let's go right there. So we make sure it's still off the screen. But it just gets thicker as it goes out. It actually doesn't look like it's changing at all, but it actually is. So yeah, so now we go back to this, and this looks looks a little better, I guess, kind of, maybe, I don't even know. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate, and we'll go forward maybe to here, and snap that the start of it there, and then we'll go forward again, maybe to here, and snap the start. And let's just do it one more again, and that'll do it. Uh, let's go ahead and actually make it to where it's not just to where it just appears like that. I don't really like that. It looks a little harsh. So let's keyframe this opacity. And we'll just do a few pixels. Or not pixels, frames, whatever. So about like that works. So let's go ahead and copy that. And V. Command V. Wait, did I do it? Wait, what the fuck just happened? Did I delete something? I deleted one of these, didn't I? When did I do that? I'm gonna go back until I figured it out. Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> I don't think I did, actually. So fuck it. YOLO. Swag. Alright. Opacity. Bam. Bam. Copy. Paste. Paste paste. So now we get that. Alright. And you can obviously do this in reverse for some other crazy effects. Uh, you get you get all you could do this in reverse and like outline a person instead, make this like some crazy lock on thing. Um, but yeah. We're not done yet. Oops, go back. Alright, so now with all this done, make sure everything is timed out how you want it. Um, I'll show you what mine looks like real quick. Yeah, I'm After Effects. I'm gonna load everything slow as fucking fuck. Oh wait, I know why. Um, this is needs to be twenty nine point nine seven. There, now let's do it. It's still gonna go slow as fuck. Cause it's After Effects, and After Effects fucking hates me. Bam. Alright, so that's actually way too damn slow. So what we're going to do is with all these highlighted, we're going to hold Alt or Option and bring them in. And as you can see, it keeps the distance in between the same like ratio. So we're just going to crush these in a little bit. And bring all these in. So about right there. And then... 
right there. And then right there. All right. I'm not liking this opacity right now though. So let's just let's keep it at 100 for now. Just we're not going to fade it in at all just because I'm nitpicking everything. How long is this? It's 10 minutes already. All right. This is the last part. I'm sorry for making this so fucking long when it's something really fucking easy. All right, so this is what we got. It's pre-composed. Make sure you move all attributes. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here and type in displacement map or just type in disp and it'll come up. Put it on your actual clip and change this to pre-comp one. Let's actually rename this so we know, so we don't just have a million things called pre-comp. We'll name this uh, turkey butt hole. All right. So make the, make sure that's on turkey butt hole. Change that. Change uh, your horizontal displacement and your vertical displacement both to luminance, um, or not luminance. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No alpha. Yeah, it's alpha that we need to do it. And. Um, and then you can just change these to whatever suits you. I like it at around about 10. Um, scale that back up. And as you and see now you can see what's going on, right? Let's actually scale that down to five again. You see what's happening? You see all that? All right. And that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, it's only going to affect the areas that are white. But another thing you can do real quick is you can add an adjustment layer. Drop this below. Change the track mat to alpha mat turkey butthole. And go to curves. Or really any effect will work. Um, I just like doing curves and you can kind of see what, what you can do with this. You can do some crazy shit. I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast. And I'm also going to make it just a wee little bit more red. So get some red kind of wave things going on, like some energy shit. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can add some sexy color correction. That looks like a butt on Battlefield. Ew. Hold on, I got this. Let's go ahead and add some motion blur too. So, oops, that should be an R. And I think that'll do it for today's tutorial. Let's go ahead and have a look at what it's gonna look like. Oh, let me turn the sound on. He is yellow. Shut up. Okay. I'm sorry. This. This is taking forever, 13 minutes in. But, um, yeah, so how are you guys doing? Well, this is Ram Preview. Oh, ah, oh, come on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start getting back into tutorials again. I'm almost done with Sneak and Destroy 2, uh, and then I'll be, uh, I'm actually gonna start Zen in a minute. Uh, Zen's gonna be a really simple edit, really clean, um, so that one's not gonna take very long. Um, Hopefully, and then I got Hard Frank Episode Four, uh, which I got some pretty nice clips for. I got a Battlefield clip, a Halo clip, uh, some Modern Warfare Three, and some Black Ops. Um, I want to get more of the Battlefield and the Halo in there also, but I don't know. <coughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment telling me what you think I should do my next tutorial on. I'm gonna try and get some Battlefield gameplays, do some commentaries over that because I'm really liking Battlefield. Uh, I definitely am starting to like it more than Call of Duty. But, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and it's almost done RAM previewing. So I'm going to stall for a few more seconds. <coughs> oh, that was a baby burp. I tried to do a real burp, but I already did a burp earlier. So I can't really burp right now. Oh, I'm tired. Anyways, 
So let's go ahead and take a quick little look see at uh, the effects that we had and what they look like. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. Looks pretty dope. And of course, on this adjustment layer, you can add any motherfucking thing that you want to add to this bitch. And yeah, and it'll only affect these areas in white. And you can actually take this and, you know, make this on, on overlay and change the opacity down to like 20 or something like that. And it'll still do the same thing. And then you got that white over it too. Um, but yeah, it's been Hink. I hope you guys enjoyed. And hail Satan.